everybody. Black Card Knight here. Now, I was asked to address an issue regarding the demonetization of Bay Area transparency. So, let's start off by reading his community post on his channel. Hey, Bay fam. Just a quick update. I haven't been posting because I got an email saying my channel has been demonetized for some reason. No explanation, and my channel is still up, so I'm trying to get that figured out. Once I do, we will get back to posting. I apologize for the delay. Okay, a quick explanation of what happened with demonetization last week. Last week, there was a bug in the system that uh, demonetized thousands of YouTubers. This glitch even affected me last week. Normally, you could go on to your content page and see a column that shows your monetization options. However, when it happened, there was no column that showed your monetization. There were no ads on your videos. There was no nothing on your monetization page. Everything was just gone. But by the end of the day, most everybody had monetization restored. Funny occurrence about the first demonetization wave was it was not accompanied with an email. I only got an email later on apologizing for the issue. And so did everybody else that I know of. Now, during the week there was a second wave of demonetization. A lot of people were affected with it, but not as many as there was with the first wave. One content creator I am subscribed to, Tyrone Magnus, was affected by the first and second wave. Now I'm going to play a video of his explaining what happened in the second wave. Yeah, um, I don't know if uh, the rest of you YouTubers woke up to this email, but I woke up to an email telling me that my AdSense account was canceled. For those of you that don't know, that's how YouTubers get paid. Their AdSense account. That's what allows the ads to be placed on our videos through Google. Um, I, I sent my emails because I'm, I'm like, this has got to be another glitch. This has got to be a glitch associated with what happened over the weekend. It's got to be because it doesn't make any sense. Okay. They actually have a community board or chat, and they said that usually you, uh, Google will cancel your AdSense account over something major. First of all, I don't do anything majorly controversial. Well, for those of you who don't know who Tyrone Magnus is, he's essentially right in that respect. He doesn't do anything too controversial that would uh, warrant him to be demonetized. He mostly does reactions and a lot of comic book movie content from Mar for Marvel and DC movie properties and such like that. So it's not really that big of a deal as far as what he does, which is best basically stuff that a lot of nerds get into. We've been through this before. So I sent emails to three people. Hopefully I hear back from them. AdSense doesn't give you... Uh, the ability to email them, apparently. Apparently, I can only post on the community board. This doesn't make any sense. I go to get back into bed, just to, like, <sighs> after jumping on the computer. Guess who else got the email? Scarlo. Okay, accompanied with the second wave of demonetization. Everybody who was demonetized in the second wave received an email that really provided no explanation as to why they were demonetized. Which is what Bay Area Transparency talked about in his community post. So I'm like, if she got this this morning and I got this this morning, something is really up. Because when the whole glitch was going on, I'm the only one whose channel got demonetized. My gaming channel didn't. My backup channel didn't. Just my main channel. Her channel was fine. So a bunch of YouTubers' channels were fine, but mine wasn't, along with a bunch of other people that did different stuff. The Real Rejects 
It happened to. It happened to Star Wars Theory and several others. So people that do all different type of videos, this happened to. And I just got this email. And I noticed my, you know, you AdSense is kind of like two days behind with how they tabulate your, your money. And I noticed some little fluctuation. Not sure if it was just me. Or if it had something to do with the whole glitch. But I'm staying calm again. Please let me know what's going on. I'm going to at Team YouTube on Twitter. I need your help again. Please share, 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 share this video so we know what the hell is going on. <sighs> See you soon. The next day, Tyrone Magnus talked about his video is being re-monetized along with his girlfriend, Scaro. So, this was mostly part of the continuation of the glitch that occurred a week ago. And he wasn't the only one affected by the second wave. There were several thousand others that were, but still nowhere near as the amount that there were the first wave. So now we've got some evidence to put a, spe a bit of speculation into what happened to Bay Area Transparency. I've already read the community post regarding this, which ha happened right around the time that Tyrone Magnus was demonetized. But looking further into Bay Area Transparency's community post, the previous one, the most recent one after that, was from two weeks ago where he's apologizing for being behind schedule. So which leaves a possibility right here that he was not affected by the first wave, but since he says he left received a letter regarding the second wave that he might have been affected by the second wave. There's also on his community posts a distinct lack of e-begging after this, meaning he was probably more focused on getting his monetization back rather than e-begging his way out for help. But Jonathan, just like all the other frauders, do tend to lie quite a bit. That's another distinct possibility. So we got two ways to go right here. One, he's lying about the whole thing and he was never demonetized. Or two, since he said he received a letter, there was a distinct possibility that he was hit with the second wave of demonetization. But there also might be a third thing. He might have actually been demonetized and received a letter explaining why and used this as a cover to retire from frauding. Because as I understand, he's in deep legal trouble these days, so he might want to have a cover story to get out of the business. That is another distinct possibility. But I could speculate all damn day and never be right on the subject, so I'm just going to leave you guys to speculate from this point on because I've given you all the information that I know about the subject.